So I was born in a city called Konis, Lithuania. I won't mention the year. <laughs> Not allowed to ask. I am married. <laughs> of two boys, yeah. Jared and Callan. They're very small, so I can't say probably not. I don't know, they're not very interested, but they might give me a hand someday. So I came to Ireland in 2004 and I was working in small barber shop, lovely barber shop in Temple Bar. And a couple months later, I went to Grafton Barber, so the same year, 2004. And I was basically a ladies hairdresser. I was trained as a ladies hairdresser and I just had to retrain a little bit in Grafton Barbers to become a barber. So first I met Connor and Connor was straight away, you know Connor, he's just, oh, one of us. Um, well, at Grafton, it's all different level. It's, it's, it's not barbershop, it's a salon. Starting from hygiene, customer service, quality. It's, it's not barbershop, you know, it's very client focus, which I like. I was latest hairdresser, so it's not just in and out. You know, you listen to the client. Flat top, flat top, flat top. I hate flat tops. Uh, classy haircuts will never go out. I think short back and sides, long the top. Tonic is my favorite. Every client loves tonic. But really, somebody says no to tonic. Finish off your haircut and a little massage. And volume is my favorite. I can style with volume any style. It just gives nice natural finish. You have to make sure you like to be around people all day. Your social skills, well, it's it all comes with time, but you have to make sure you want to be around people all day because you have clients all day in the chair. Them clients with years become friends. So you talk to people all day. That's the first thing. You have to like people. <laughs> yes, and then obviously find teacher, find school somebody who can give you this skill. YouTube, YouTube is not <laughs> teacher. Eddie McAvoy, the man just, the barbering is his life. Yeah, his ATC is God. And he enjoys going in every day and talk to his clients, do haircuts, that's his life. Hugh Senior, he raised smart, ambitious two men. I hope my boys will be one day like this. <laughs> um, the dream, I suppose, probably only a dream. Somewhere sunny by the pool. A little garden beside, I can do a bit of gardening and bottle of wine. I don't think I will be able without work completely, so I think it will be a little bit work involved anyway. <laughs> I try to get up 6.30, <laughs> never happens, 7, 7. Ooh, I'm not much into jewelry, I don't know, it's just sportswear, anything, anything what's comfy, on the go. I like healthy meals, but it's uh, not always the case, sometimes you don't have time. Anything what's around, anything what you can get, sandwich, coffee, loads of coffee loads of coffee. My favorite part probably would be Donegal, uh, Galway. We're going to Ackill Island soon. That's where my mother-in-law is from, so I'm sure I will love it. No, it's Jared Leto. That's why my son called his name Jared. <laughs> loads of hair, uh, loads of styles he had previously. I would love to do something crazy. I actually seen uh, him singing. I was in O2 when I was pregnant. I think I was six months pregnant with my first son. He actually heard him singing while he was... <laughs> it was kind of funny, kind of awkward story when I... It was midweek morning, I had this young guy, schoolboy, in his uniform in my chair. And we keep chatting away, I'm cutting his hair, lovely guy, loves his hair, you could tell. And his dad walks into the shop and catches him there and says, would you not supposed to be in school at this time? 
So the guy just went all right. It was a bit awkward for me too. I felt guilty. 